Alright. Hello. <coughs> so we will continue our play of perception today. Despite the fact that it creeps me out to no end. I mean, look at that girl. Look at her. She's super creepy. Hi, Eric. Alright. Well, let's just jump in. <laughs> I don't know! Honestly, you guys were probably right last week that I should just die and see what happens, and that would be less creepy. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can't actually see. Alright. What were we doing? We got into some new story. What? This place feels... different. It's the same house, but... No, that's not possible. Hello? Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Hmm. Need... Oh, okay, so I think I was starting over a little bit. Is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. Damn it. What the hell? Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message sent. Huh, I don't remember it turning me around there before. Oh, right, the carnival. It opened the door for me, I see. Alright. Oh. I have to click on the door to open it, not tap it with my cane. do open. Oh, what? I just cannot create a mental map of these spaces. I could have sworn I tried that door. Okay. So there's a little glowy thing down there. Alright, I guess we're redoing this little bit. And now we're at a carnival. What the fuck is going on with this place? It's probably good because I honestly don't remember what this story was. You chivalrous man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. Ask Serge for his autograph, and then his phone number. Write it right on the ball. How <laughs> to be nicer to him? Jean, Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Yeah, I'm starting over from the second chapter. I didn't get very far, so probably why. Who the heck is Jean? Is that who I saw up here? Wait. I smell... Is that breakfast? <coughs> right, because here's the creepy... Statue of Liberty worship. Alright, let's figure out where we were. That's right, I had to turn this off in order to see the scene. Freedom worship. Oh God! What happened to him? Jean, <laughs> you barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. 
Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic candles? Shh. Give me checkered walnut any day. Oh. Okay. I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, so what? Did Betty kill Gene? Send him to war and he died? Turn this back on. Okay, so the gun's somewhere up there. Yeah, Felicia and Crazy Doctor. <clears throat> Gotta find the source of that. Do I? Are you telling me what to do again? Simply must find that gun. Hmm. And there's something glowing up there too. Oh, great. Hmm? Believe me, Principal Weathers, I'm very proud to have my name and time on the girls' track banner, but I hold the best time overall. You've said to be grateful with what I have, but what I have is the school record. I'd like to formally petition to have my name sewn on there. Yeah, I think Betty's a little cray-cray, gotta agree with that. So I can't open. What's glowing up there? Okay, so there your game is saved. I probably should have gotten that far to stop. Okay, here's more flags. Based on the Statue of Liberty and the Dead Soldier, I'm guessing these are American flags. Alright. Nothing of interest in here, except... I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. Yes. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Okay. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. Yeah, it does feel like it's the past. I don't know if it's Civil War, maybe it's... Yeah, maybe Civil War. What's making noise up here? Hi, Dad, by the way. Oh, is that still the radio? Alright, I'll go to the glowy door. I got nothing else to do. Wait. Huh. Where am I? I'm in a castle. And I am going to explore this a little bit. Sometimes there's other creepy memories. Oh, there's always multiple floors. That's why I got so lost last time. Oh, a hidey spot. That means I'm gonna have to run from stuff again. But this is weird because this just went into like some other place. Oh. Moldepath. Uh, I'm sorry. English. Anglais. Real smooth, Cass. <clears throat> Maybe Delphi can help. How can Delphi Mot help? Uh, oh. Password. Yeah, I could have told you that. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. Oh, good, but it's glowing for me again. Yeah, it is ridiculously hard to make a mental map of this place. Dear 
dearest Betty. When I was a child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Okay. That's not a password, but okay. Oh, for heaven's sake, where is that gun? Why does she want the gun so bad? Locked. Of course. Friendly Eyes app? Connecting to a live community user. Huh. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. I think okay, it's the there's... same house. Looks like a lockbox. But like at a different oh, time. Yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. That's a cool app. Although I don't know why she needed that. I mean, she could have. What was that sound for? What was the point of that? Oh, and this is gone now. That's great. Okay. Nursing school now? Not closing that door. Is she going to nursing school or is she another crazy doctor? Oh, and now we're preaching. that radio on again. I liked it. Hey. Surely that's a thing I can pick up. Hmm. This feels buggy, actually. Alright, whatever. So, I'm looking for a password for the weird door within a castle. Hey, a toilet I can't flush. What's up with that? And... Uh, what else am I looking for? Oh, a way into the attic. <laughs> yep, broken game. Okay, I'll go in that door in a second. can hide under the covers? Oh, right under the bed. Yeah, just... Looks like there's a book there. I want the book. Oh, probably a Bible on every bed. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely prefer to hide under the covers, but it looks like I can hide under every single bed here. That's nice. Oh, what is that? My sixth sense tells me there's something... Oh, the mirror? Okay. To right? Monsters live user. under the bed. <clears throat> Hi. Again. That cat's sitting for Fred, so I'll be here all day. Great, because I'm in a creepy, creepy house all day. Yikes. <laughs> um, someone wrote the word Durham over and over on this mirror. Looks like it's written in lipstick. Weird. Sounds like a password. At least I hope that's lipstick. <laughs> uh, I need to get out more. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. 
Thanks, Nick. Oh, now you want me to go here. You wouldn't let me grab it before. I would have skipped it if I hadn't used my sixth sense. Let's see, Daddy. I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father, Father would be proud. We go to the war. Back to the drawing board. Like. Go get him, buddy. Yeah. What now? That can't be good. Air raid sirens. But I can crouch. This isn't real. It, it can't be. The house is warning me. It's telling me. I need <laughs> yes. to be the one to save you. Oh, it's a toggle. Okay, so the house told Betty to, I don't know, kill Jean. Those bastards. To save Jean. Crouch, bastards. You don't belong over Crouch. there. World I War do. One or Two. When hey, I, I was right. Gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! Felicia was paranoid about her baby. Mm hmm Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Oh, so Jean's not actually there. Scan it. Delphi, text to speech. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door. Oh, so what the heck was Durham? Chantal. Okay. Hey, what? Am I in the house again? Aha, the wasps. Yeah, maybe. Boy, I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a twin beach. Hmm, thank you for your interest in the Women Air Force Service Pilots. Unfortunately, all our WASPs must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. Well, that's just foolish. I'm a fast learner and... Oh... Well, no use crying over spilt milk. Hmm. Once more onto the breach. Hey. She tried very hard to get to the war. And now, how do I get over there? Can I open any of this stuff? No. Yeah. There might be. I mean, there's a castle and a password guy and uh, an air raid, apparently. Where there's an air raid, there's got to be a plane. here? Does this mean I have to hide? Hmm. Durham, North Carolina. Thanks, Dad. Well, there was the presence. It's awfully nice of the game to turn red when the presence is coming. <clears throat> so 
maybe I don't need to be worried until the presence shows up. I know where I'm going now anyway. I'm going to the castle. <laughs> I don't want to test that theory. Wait, he didn't ask me for a password. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, in the beginning of the game, I did tap a whole lot. Right? No. Yeah, right? Oh no, there's no way I'm stopping that record. Well, I might just to see if there's another scene. Good. Oh. Hey, I was right, there's another scene. What are you doing? Stress is a war puts on a man, Jean, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. Ah, okay. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait. We're in a brothel. And his wife is totally okay with him being in a brothel. Yeah. It's hard to tell because the graphics are a little off. Like, something about the ghosts, they don't show up all the way. Okay, the skittering's back. That's great. <laughs> yeah, probably for the best. grab this note already? I did. And here's that box. Here's the hidey place. Now mother stowaway is such a harsh word. I know. Mm -hmm. Father always said if the I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I... Yes. Yeah, see, it seems like I should right. be able to see more this. of her right now. She's on the phone. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just... Ever since I found Father's gun, I... Oh. So she found the gun. Mm-hmm. Well, why the hell am I still here? This is not about the gun, Cassie. The office of John Treebook. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. some kind of shader issue. <clears throat> Surely they'll have something for me to do overseas. I bet they won't, and you'll go crazier. We appreciate your numerous requests to be placed <laughs> in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you're a top notch typist, so why don't you come down to the boss typing? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet. I wonder if the shader thing has something to do with the fact that I'm not playing a full screen. Where am I going? All the way up there. Hey, yeah, this is the same house. This is the... This is the door to the rec room. Although... This is definitely not recreational. No, it's not full screen. I have to watch it. I have to play when windowed mode. I am doing computer trickery. I have to play in windowed mode so that I can have the chat up. Because I'm doing all of this on the same computer. Whoa. 
Bye. Good thing she can sense barbed wire, because that would be awfully painful to walk through. <coughs> okay, so it's... Oh, I crouch. Of course I do. I have a new ability. Oh, hi! You are creepy. But I'm pretty sure the only enemy I need to be worried about is the presence, so... Seems like we're in the same position we were in last time. What? Who threw that? <coughs> she mad now. You love these dusty old tomes, don't you? We never read many books, just listened to father's war stories. Made me want to go out on an adventure of my own. Are they enough, Jean? Your books, do they make you feel alive? <laughs> huh. I don't think so. They're all more sensible than grown up. Okay, we want to go upstairs. That's not good. While we are always eager, I know what a rejection letter starts like. Recall, we are unable to offer you. Pilaki. Fine. Okay, so what did she do? What I can do at home. After at she was rejected everywhere. That's fantastic. Okay, I'll follow the sandbags. There's more recreational barbed wire, and what is that? A doll with a deer skull on it? It's like just creepy for the sake of creepy. <laughs> Delphi text to speech. Really? How is Delphi reading that? <laughs> yeah, that is not speech. <laughs> okay. Behind you. Did it say behind you? I need to scan that again. <laughs> if there's if there's something behind me, I expect it won't hurt me until I actually look. It's a modem. Picked up a paper modem. <laughs> yeah. Behind you. What did say behind you? Well, that's fun. I gotta go over there. Am 
other note. Dear Betty, thank you for your enthusiasm about can't sit behind the recreational work. barbed wire. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage, and you're all alone up there. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake sales downtown. <sighs> no, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. Who is? Perhaps I could appeal again to Roger. He might listen to reason. Who's Roger? Steve Rogers? Because I think he would understand your plight here. Okay. Yeah, this definitely feels like the same layout as before, but now with sandbags and stuff. Oh man. Why is it so quiet? Because... Oh hey, the barbed wire's gone. Because it's a quiet, quiet game. Oh, or do you mean the actual stream? I have no idea. I can't help you with that one. Unless it's happening to everybody, and then maybe I can. Alright, what am I stepping in? Mud? <laughs> okay, I grabbed that already. Maybe you need to turn Dale down, Kirsty. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, no, I don't want to hide. But good to know. Find the radiator to hide. Picked this up already. I want the piano to play again. I liked the piano. <laughs> okay, so can't go here. I'm guessing the gun's in the attic because it has driven me away from the attic now. I feel a jump scare coming on. Oh, okay. I got to the door. Good, good. Game save. Thing I can't open. Huh. I don't know, Kirsty. I think my volume... Oh, something just hissed at me. Okay, Dad, you don't need to hear the creepy noises. What is this? Betty, yeah. Betty, Betty, Betty. No man. No one else to run the switchboards. How about this? Hmm. Hey, Dolan, take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. Is that what she decided to do when she couldn't go to the war? Well, can you guys hear the talking okay? With the memories? Prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. Okay, hope chest. Well, if you can hear the talking, those are the main sounds. Otherwise, it's just footsteps and cane thumping. <clears throat> Inside that chest are our dreams, Jean. And keeping them safe on our end. So you do your duty over there and we'll be right as rain soon enough. I am coming for you. 
Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Chi. Now I open the chest. And now I'm in a graveyard. I'm guessing Jean didn't make it. Boy, the graveyard sounds like a hardwood floor. Hold on just a little longer, Jean. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. <laughs> After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Isn't that like a beard? At the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. Okay. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm walking coming on the tombstones. You. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, I got a barn key. I am coming. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Okay. We're just gonna walk away from that creepy whatever that is. Oh, and we're lost. Okay. <laughs> now that Dalek voice is the, uh, is the presence. Okay, well, Kirsty, if you can hear me and the talking in the game, those are the loudest volumes in the game. and uber creepy doors. All right, what do we got here? Oh, okay, so this would be the barn. Oh. And a pole. Oh, for the attic. I should really check out that attic. Yeah, good luck remembering where it is. Oh, more creepy notes. Don't find text to speech. Betty, I hope this letter finds you well. Right. Echo Bluff must be lonely with you there alone. Have you heard from Jean recently? I wish I could be there, but the work here at the Richmond Shipyards is vital to the war effort. With Jean in the army, that big house must be difficult for you to maintain. I pray every night for Jean. If he were to die over there, I'm not sure if Mother could handle it. According to the stories we hear at the shipyards, the way captured soldiers are treated sounds like a fate worse than death. Indications are this will be a long war, but take comfort in your wonderful home. Love, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well that one nope, nope, Betty, nope, nope, nope. Put I it back. That letter was from you sounds like Betty's sister. I wish I could be there, but the work Just here talking about how bad the war is and how I'm sure Gene won't die, but it would be pretty terrible if he did or were captured or whatever. I pray every night for Gene. If he were to die over there, I'm not sure if Mother could handle it. According to the stories we hear at the shipyard, the day practice, practice, practice. You don't like need fancy tools to death. disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a long war, but take the yes, Jean, just like I showed home. you. Love. Now let's get Eddie. a stopwatch and have some fun. Oh, wait, did you teach Jean how to shoot? Or do you just think you did? And I'm back in the house again. Oh, there's the carnival. Okay. Yeah, considering the game sort of locks and unlocks doors indiscriminately too, that, that just makes it harder to figure out uh, where everything is. Go upstairs. Yes, Betty has always been crazy. Is 
going to be added. With my pole that I'm obviously carrying around. <laughs> Maybe. Of course, I have to explore for my next goal. I don't even know why I need to be up here, except to find the gun, this probably. The gun! The way to my man in Europe. Okay. Dearest Jean, it seems my luck has <laughs> finally turned yes. around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line, and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week, and we'll soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. She's got a gun. Thankfully, Betty. And a ticket on a ship that she won in a random contest. Morse code. I know this. Hang on a second. Really? I don't. Betty. I am coming home. Jean is coming? On my way home. Uh, honorable discharge. Hmm. Love you. Shit, she can't get on that boat. He's coming back. That must be why she hasn't heard from him. Huh? I better find my way to that foghorn stat. Is the boat in the mansion? <laughs> I was in the attic <clears throat> because my sixth sense told me to. This door looks like it's downstairs. Does Cassie really think she can, like, stop Betty from getting on the boat? Because I don't. I think she's just going to see something terrible that happened again. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's a boat door. And this is not a boat. What? What's behind this thing? Open curtain. Ah! No, no, no. Oh, Betty. <laughs> Betty. She's just sort of you following the house and her six senses. Why? Why did this fucking house do this to her? Wait, and and in doing so, she's uh, discovering these stories. With a ticket from your dream. Is it there? No. No, seriously, where is the ticket from your dream? Because if it's not here, I'm not sure. Oh, aha! I didn't think so. <coughs> That's a good question, Dad. I don't know. That person in the tub is Betty. She's crazy and went to find Jean, her husband, who went to war. Here again. Where? Does this mean I solved it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Many of the sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet. But then I was told they were for protection. 
Old Tully had sworn it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross. Okay, so is this... Oh. Okay, so I think... I can hide in here? That's great. I think that was the end of a chapter? Yeah, because now we got new things out here. So I think we're in a new chapter now. Yeah, the tub's empty. Yep, chapter three. I'm guessing I can't go there. Let's. Aw. Can't zap myself. <laughs> yeah. Why did Nikola Tes Nikolai Tesla kill himself? Oh, good. My sixth sense is working. I will follow it. Or not. Play. Bosh. So that's connected, huh? So Bosch was mentioned in some thing that Betty overheard. <coughs> I'm also thinking I'm going back in time. So first there was Felicia in modern day, and then there was World War One, Betty and Jean. And now there's Bosch, and there's a creepy doll again, that's great. Day and night I toil because my girls are sweeter than probably nineteenth century. Angels of my own creation, whatever they need, I shall oh, devise. Great. Got daughters who certainly died. What? Why is there a tiny little door here? I'm concerned about that. Did he create, like, a shrink ray? Can't walk there. You know, I didn't get very far in 7th Guest. It didn't work very well. Oh, why am- I didn't want to hide. It didn't work very well on our computer. It was real slow to load and everything. Okay, so I'm supposed to go there, but I'm pretty sure I can't, so I'm just going to keep exploring until oh, another hidey hole. As long as I'm finding new memories, I think I'm okay. Jeez, lots of places to hide. So that's the starting Tesla coils. I was gonna say it's interesting that they light up, but then I realize they're making noise, so it makes sense. All right, well let's try to get to the where the sixth sense is telling me to go. You know, I'm pretty sure I already tried that. <laughs> Won't let me go this way. You know, you might be right about that cake. 
Examine the doll. Oh, and oh no, no, no. I toil because my I girls that. are sweeter than sleep. Angels of my own creation, whatever they need, I shall devise. Well, that the tiny door is locked anyway, so. Oh, pull the lever. Can I crouch here still? Oh, yep, I still have that ability. Oh, good. Creepy dolls everywhere. That's great. Mm hmm. Autonomous locomotion experiment eight has failed. The adjustments I made were not enough. Regrettably, for now, they will have to use these chairs. There must be a more elegant answer. Oh. That's interesting. Are his daughters, like, crippled? Quit stalling, Rob. Fix the damn door, or we'll kick it down. We will see what's in that basement, Mr. Marsh. Huh. Bet you will. Let's try to go more directly here. Oh, good. It reminded me. You just want to see what happens when I make too much noise. Oh good, this is easier now. If I were watching the game, I would want to see what happens when I make too much noise too. November 21st, 1892. I've tried everything oh, to I was right. What did you do, Bosh? Did you create Daleks? Euphonia power! Oh. No new scene? Okay. Alright, let's go up there. Oh, good. Where have you gone? The other girls won't let you stay either. Oh, yeah. Other girls. Let's have a sleepover and talk about boys. Oh, good. He created creepy doll robots. That's just great. Sixth sense. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Oh, so am I allowed? To oh, because I pulled that other lever. I see. 
that other lever goes to this Tesla coil because of course that's what you do. You put the lever for this coil in the opposite side of the house. So did the poppets kill him or or kill their mommy? Oh, here we go into the rec room again. Of course the creepy dolls killed him. Ah, okay, so I'm going straight up there. Uh, that's a hidey hole. Come on, wasn't there a... Uh... Hey, oh. Oh, there's stuff in the way. I see. Alright. Bring chimes. <laughs> Yay! Oh wow! Those chimes light up the whole place. Be okay with me if they just kept ringing. No. Friendly eyes app. Hey Nick, what's this thing from 1892? Connecting to a live community user. This game has rogue AI, I didn't see that. Escape room. Thanks, Nick. Okay, so... Now where do I go? Ring chimes again. Hmm. <clears throat> There's gotta be a door I'm missing. Oh, how did I miss all this? There's one of those tiny doors. There's the staircase. Oh man. I don't like the taste. I can't of that. get past curtains. Don't make me drink it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I don't like this one bit. Yep. Okay, so if I just say what happened, can we just go on to the next story? Curtains. I can't get past curtains. Power. What did that do? Yeah. <laughs> That's not at all creepy. Hi. Whoa! <laughs> oh, she actually killed me. <laughs> oh, good. 
<laughs> the poppets are crazy. I have no idea where I... I didn't listen to her. I wanted to see what happened. Are you happy now? Oh. Can't go that way. I don't even know where I am. As if I wasn't lost before. Oh, I don't want to hide. Well, now we know. The presence is not the only thing that can hurt me. Technically, we don't even know if the presence can hurt me, since that hasn't actually happened yet. Oh no, this is where I started, huh? Doggone it. I don't know where it put me when... when I woke up again. Right, I hear ya. Oh, door. Okay. November 15th, 1892. I feel as though prying eyes have followed me here. Strange noises, unknown voices. Alas, our no sanctuary appears on we cannot flee again. The creepy little girls that shoot me in the head? Or the feet? I don't actually know how they shot me. Okay, here's the kitchen. That's a way up. There's the... I like how that one step creaks no matter what time I'm in. I don't even know how to find that poppet room again. No. Oh. There's the little girls' rooms. Nothing of interest here, just a locked door. Okay. I don't know what's up with the dolls, honestly. Delphi. Text to speech. I mean, are they real little girls? Hamilton, you must first understand that Mr. Hal, my former and your current benefactor, is a scoundrel of the lowest order. The dullard sees commerce as an end rather than as a means toward progress. I must warn you that while you have been a worthy and prized assistant, that this will be your last correspondence. I must remove myself from the standard concerns of society, lest I fail to capitalize on the advancements I am sure to achieve. In gratitude to you, I have enclosed deed to my property in Boston, which I assign to you. I shall not return. Fondly. Bosch. Okay, I don't totally understand that letter. <laughs> yes, I think this is reverse Pinocchio. Okay, so I wonder if I got that now, will this door open? Nope, okay. Oh, where did I come from? But those girls seem too... S Ugh. Those girls seem too small to be actual... Girls. What was that thing? Was that the presence? <laughs> I need a... Where am I? Where 
is that? I'm in a pantry. Okay. Nothing of interest there, though. What's making noise here? Oh. Darn it, that's where I started. I think I've already walked around everywhere here, and I need to go over there. I lost again. Well, at least there's no skittering. Is it because I died? Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else up here. Which sucks, because I thought that's where I needed to go. Rec room? No. And some kind of eggery kitchen. Sometimes, but sometimes it does care. It's very confusing. November 21st, oh. 1992. I've tried everything to satisfy them. I give them friends, I give them hope. But they are afraid. I must now give them security. So I've repurposed some of my creations. Okay, so the puppets are his security. That's great. Yeah, I bet as soon as I get back to the poppet room, the house will care about me tapping. One sugar cube or two. Right. Where have you gone? The other girls won't let you stay either. Awesome. Other girls. <laughs> Let's have a sleepover and talk about boys. Surprise! Who said surprise? What? What? I'm here again. Are you kidding me? You tell me I, I ran all around the house when I just needed to turn left instead of right. That's fantastic. This door looks like it needs a key. Okay, good. Oh. I do need to go that way. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, creepy girl. Wait, no. Am I... I'm here again. Come on. I've got for you. Okay. This is for you. Oh, you're the one talking. See? I hear the hissing again. Or the rustling or whatever is going on. Are you kidding me? Ah. Okay, so where is that room that I died in? Here somewhere? No. It was just here. Ugh. It was near some stairs, huh? Well, here's the the kitchen. Okay, so we already looked all around the kitchen. Oh, lost. 
knew I'd get lost again. Okay, so then there's where I need to go. Where were the puppets that talked to me? No. Okay, so, and here's the three doors. Okay, so this giant fireplace. Once I have a key, I need to get into those three doors. Which is behind this staircase. Yeah, I remember that chair. Come on! Yeah, following wires feels like what I should do if I'm playing the witness. No, I don't want to hide. But the train tracks does make sense. Okay, maybe this was it. No, that was a lever. Ah, uh, this was the lever for the one on the opposite side of the house. Okay, so here's the other door to the kitchen. Oh, man. It was on this floor, though, right? You were right, though. It looks like this isn't train tracks. These are cables. Okay, so let's take a look at the other... ...you. I don't see any other cables coming from here. Oh, there they are. They go upstairs. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Up the kitchen stairs, I'm pretty sure I explored all that area. There's, but, you know, not like I got anything else to do. And nothing's coming after me, so let's go up the kitchen stairs. All I have to do is find the kitchen. Huh, what's this? Oh good. To a live All the doors closed on me, that's great. Well, I guess I'm where I need to be. This place keeps getting freakier and freakier. Okay, this is done on a child's chalkboard and really shaky faint handwriting. Looks like a kid's attempt at making a list. It says, Yeah, I seriously. Beatrice. I miss Carol. I miss Gertie. I miss Mr. Nash. Of course, Mommy. That's it. They're too sad faces in the corner. I'll be here all day. Okay, well, let's go in the door that just opened. No, I've been here. In there. Here's the kitchen. Okay, but this was a new thing, and then this door opened, so we're going to continue out here. Sixth Sense is being useless to me. It says I need to go somewhere that I can't get to. Okay, so maybe those are the stairs that you were talking about, uh, Eric. There's the kitchen again. See, when you close all the doors, how am I supposed to know where anything is? No! I've been here, and there's nowhere to go from here. 
Euphoria, Euphonia power. Yeah, I know there's stairs in the kitchen. I was pretty sure I went up there and I wanted to follow the door because I thought it was new, but it wasn't. So. Let's go back. Here's the kitchen. These are the kitchen stairs. And they led up to this cafeteria. And this pantry. That I didn't find anything in. Why can't I find... You know, actually, I wonder... I wonder now if the poppet killing me was like a scripted sequence. Like, could I have avoided it? Oh, there's that creepy thing again. I mean, I can't even find that place anymore. And I found this... Found that note that I didn't understand. Yeah, that's not how they work. Text to speech. Pimbleton, you must first understand that Mr. Hal, my former and your current benefactor, is a scoundrel of the lowest order. The dullard sees commerce as an end rather than as a means toward progress. There's the little girl's room. I must warn you that while you have been a worthy and prized assistant, that this will be your last correspondence. I must remove myself from the standard concerns of society, lest I fail to capitalize on the advancements I am sure to achieve. In gratitude to you, I have enclosed deed to oh, my property in Boston, which I assign to you. I shall not return. Fondly. Bosch. What? It just disappeared? That door better open now, that's all I gotta say. Ah. Great. So, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so that's everything upstairs. I'm pretty... Up, up the kitchen stairs. There's no other doors. There's the kitchen. I like swishing in the air. It's just as good, and it's quieter. Uh, the, if the game wants me to find my way, it shouldn't lock doors randomly. They should have keys, and it should not have... Uh, keys. Uh, or, no, nah, sorry. It shouldn't close the doors on me. Okay, so down there is the euphonia. And nothing else. Here's that creepy blackboard. And there's the kitchen again. Okay. The active Tesla coils. Do you have an idea? Or are we just going to throw ourselves into the active Tesla coils? Play that. Make me some noise. Okay, active Tesla coils. To the right of the stairs if you're looking up them. There's So there's two doors over here. There's that one. At least I think there were. Yeah, there's two doors over here. No, I think that's where I came from. Okay, right. So here's the big fireplace. Is the door I need a key for. This goes back to the stairs. Okay. So we are all underneath the stairs now. 
And there's this door that I can't open. Ah, see, there's nothing back here. There's nothing else. That door I can't open. What is this? Huh. That's weird. Some kind of big ring thingy. I guess the poppets. Oh, they go on an upper track too? That's great. <clears throat> okay, so this should be the stairs. Good. Where I say I came from, okay. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Or, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe that's the coil I turned off more recently. Or maybe some other door opened after that and I forgot or didn't notice because what the heck, I can't track what's going on in this game. Can I turn on the chimes? Oh man, I like the chimes. Go there in a second. It's interesting that I can tilt, still talk to Nick and Surge. Hmm. Let's play that. Well, we're here again. Everything is finally unmanned and settled. I couldn't be more pleased with this estate. The shape of bay offers excellent privacy, and the rising salt there invigorates the Oh, here we go. Rec room. Bye, Dad. Yeah, right? Nick also sees the weird thing. Okay, so here's the chimes. Here are a ton of levers. Why can't I pull these? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so she's on her track. playing a shooter. Oh, and there's another one on a track. We'll just stay away from her. Ah! You shooting at me from down there? Oh, there she is. Oh gosh. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the presence this time. The freaking poppets. Okay, so let's follow this cable. <laughs> yeah! You got even weirder! Oh, there's the skittering. Because what, I turned the poppets off? No, it doesn't look like I turned her off. 
Oh, oh gosh. At least I can get hit a few times. Where is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. Close that door. I'm not here. <laughs> I don't find the skittering comforting. These guys are almost comforting because I, I know they're there. <laughs> Is it still shooting at me? Oh crap, you're right there. Are you just gonna sit there at the door? Okay, there you go. Running to the door. And you know what? I'm going to close that door behind me now that there's things shooting at me. <sighs> okay. I wonder if I have health or... Because I just got shot like three or four times. Oh, there's the skittering. <laughs> Over there somehow. Oh, there's another one. Why can't I pull these levers? Surely they turn off the poppets. What? I'm running. Huh. Don't shoot me. <laughs> right. At least they're not very good shots. Usually. That's when I can't see them. July 24th, 1896. Dear Sir, At long last, I write to announce my success in locating the volume you requested three months prior. The delay arrived in locating a copy translated to German. So, with personal satisfaction I report to you the Robert Halderbad monograph, Rausatis Communicatio will be in transit to you shortly. Pursuant to your instructions, my assistant Mr. Rooney will deliver the package to your local postal clerk, care of Mr. Lane. Please accept my sincere gratitude for your patience and the opportunity to serve your antiquarian needs. Humbly yours, Thomas Mallard, Proprietor. Yeah, I don't understand that at all. More levers. Can't pull them. Oh! He saw me. Nope. 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 Ow! Another one? Oh, crap. There's another one back there. Doggone it. Oh, jeez. They're everywhere. Oh, and there's the presents. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
That's great. Tell me I at least turned the power off for this stuff. Oh, thank goodness. Well, now what? Pick up basement, pop it key. Excellent, okay. Ooh. I just walk behind the pocket. Okay, now I know where to go though. My favorite food is biscuits. Great. Are you hungry? No. Super not hungry. Don't give me anything. Ah, I bet it's up on that upper track too. <coughs> okay, I'm dead. Stop shooting me. <laughs> Let's try this again. Yep, I was right, it's on that upper track. <laughs> and it's laughing at me. Well, Eric, you got your wish. You gotta see what happens. Yeah. Upstairs. Mm, <laughs> not the best idea to threaten the police, Mr. Bosch. Yep, you're right. He got paranoid and his bots killed him. A code? Oh, man. What is that? See, that looks like a code. Oh, okay. Nick! Nice artwork here. You're evil. Four horsemen. So that's four. This is an interesting puzzle. Talk later. Because it's like your normal find the code puzzle, but I have to ask a guy to see it for me. High five anyone? Get the hand with all the fingers played. Really, Nick? The cuteness is not really desired right now. Four two five. Three. Bummer. Three's a crowd, man. Bye. Nick, I don't need your editorializing. Four two five three. I'm glad that old codger's gone. Eight. How did the puppets like are they thinking? Is this the same code? That would be weird. Oh, yeah, they were. They were real girls at one point. That explains it. How did he do that? They're too small. Okay, so we're underneath that giant fireplace. <clears throat> it's all muddy and creepy. 
Yeah, it's a shame we lost all that technology. There's tiny boots. There's somewhat bigger boots, which freaks me out. Because what else did he make? Surprise! Oh, good. That's great. That's wonderful. Have to take them? October 16th, 1892. I am a man bold only in thought, not in action. Lord, please give me the courage to do what I must. Yep, so they definitely turned on him. Hey, Nick. Even though I just heard a pop it under here. Alright, are you gonna let me out, creepy doll? No, of course not. Oh, wait. Can I get out here? Leave that way. Oh, <laughs> good. That's what I need right now. Hey. Uh, uh, sorry. For what? Well, I'm in a creepy mansion I've being been. shot at by dolls who used to be little girls. Everything. No, I mean, I physically can't. The house won't let me. That's true. <clears throat> That's alarming. That's all you gotta say. He doesn't need you. You pushed him away. No. Excuse me? She doesn't even know yet. Oh, great. Ah. That's just great. There was a code I needed too. <laughs> Maybe they do stuff like this all the time. Yep, I saw you creepy head. Hi. And you're gone. What? Didn't I just get the key to this? What did I get the key to then? Oh. Why? This is unnerving. I can't even run. What? Okay. Oh, 
There must be light in here if Nick can see this stuff. Hi again. Let's see, pictures coming through now. Oh god, uh Oh, okay, the the app tutorial video doesn't exactly prep you for this sort of thing. Uh I need you to keep calm. If you need me to call the police or even an ambulance, let me know ASAP and I will get you help. Maybe you should. It's blood, isn't it? There's something blocking the drain by your feet. Oh. Reach down. It's a body. Move it and you should be able to get out. Then get out. Thanks, Nick. Uh. So what do I click on here? Oh. Ouch. No. Oh! I don't know what I got. I tried to warn you. Please, try to hold Get still. Get that fucking thing away from me! Oh, it's the dead cop. No, 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 no! You shouldn't have given your creepy girls guns. I mean, at what point did you think it was a good idea? <laughs> yeah, because they were idiots. There it is. How did he get in here? This is why you never hear about Bosch and you only hear about Tesla. Tesla didn't make creepy little girl poppets. <clears throat> now it makes sense that the poppets placed in here. All right, where to now? What? Oh, right, that's the doll that I examined and nothing happened. Oh no, that happened. Okay, so am I going back to the basement now? Even though there's clearly things down there? Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to a new poppet door. That makes sense. That's exactly what I want to do. Train tracks, all torn it up. <sighs> Euphonia. Or I can't open. Yeah, a little bit. I climbed over a cabinet that had fallen on its side. Oh no, this is a real girl. Soon we'll be well enough to sing you a song. Just the way you like it. Yep. Or Little girls in wheelchairs. You can always tinker with our dolls until they sing. He was just trying to do something kind for his daughters. Really? What do you have for me? An apple? You know we don't eat these. These are toxic. Ooh. didn't turn them into poppets. The poppets killed them? Uh, a little lost now. No. Oh. Okay, we'll go that way, I guess.
Yep, rogue AI. You can never trust AIs. Okay, now what? All this stuff. Oh, seriously, what is all this stuff? Oh, moths? I can hear them? That's actually kind of cool. Oh, hi. Oh, man. I know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is not at all creepy. There he is. Really? Those things did that to you. I had you packed all wrong. Well, I don't know that you did. I mean, he made There's them. The apple from my dream. I tried to fix things Whoa. and only made some verse. What the? They are coming. And I do not think I will fight them when they arrive. Okay. My husband is a righteous man, but I am afraid his love of God may have lead to the destruction of an innocent. Here we go. Ah, how to explore. There's a rope, a ticket. An apple, and I think the tree, yeah. Great! I watched as a crowd of children mobbed her. They squealed as she made the small wooden doll jump and dance, working the strings faster than their eyes could see. It was as though she breathed life into the thing. Yeah, so who's this girl, Faith? Hmm. Huge tracts of land. You're here for a reason. Oh god, that smell. Great. And the woods all rotted. Ooh. Oh good. Oh, an axe. Right, a tree. Gotta figure this out. That's fantastic. Can't open that door. Am I crouched? Oh, I'm crouched. Okay. Colonial times? I mean, it's a house. In America, presumably. July 19, 1692. Colonial. To Thomas Sterling, you are hereby permitted forthwith to apprehend and bring Susanna Morton in order to her examination relating to high suspicion of sundry witchcraft. acts of witchcraft. The court seeks justice for acts committed by her upon the bodies of Mary Talcott and Mercy Lewiston of Salem Village, whereby great hurt and damage hath been done. Should you succeed, her lands and estate shall be bequeathed unto your family forthwith. Superior Court of Essex County. 
Okay. Out of Durham. Is this the original house? Gotta be. Wait, can I hear those moths now? That's weird. Oh. I cast you out. I bet you do. Alright, well presence is definitely around now. Better than the poppets, I guess. Actually, I don't know. It's a place to hide. Oh, okay, so I want to go that way. Well, let's look at things first. The sounds that come from these surrounding woods give me pause. Is there a native threat? Or is something foul remain? Okay. So you killed a witch. And... He cursed you, maybe? Quiet presence. Fire would help open the door. Now for some matches. Okay. Okay. Where can I find matches? That's. I mean, I guess I'm glad the game told me that because I certainly wouldn't have figured that out. Oh. Oh no. <clears throat> but my sixth sense is. Oh no, okay, good. It's leaving me up there. Can I just go downstairs? I know where I am now. <laughs> of course, I've said that before. Nope. But there's the place to hide. <sighs> this room is... or this... This time it's making... There's a lot fewer, like, regular noises, unfortunately. Which I suppose makes sense. I mean, the game's getting harder, and... <clears throat> also, we're in 1692, or wherever. There's the kitchen. We shall not starve, we... Husband, the animals, they've taken ill. Okay. Maybe a stick around here. We're in the kitchen. Well, maybe not. Hey, I want to go directly up. I imagine cursed the house. Husband, how has this been spoiled so soon? We only arrived yesterday. Gross. Everything here is just disgusting. It's 
I don't know. Maybe they are flies. Maybe that's what's making the noise that I can hear. Even though I can't literally hear it, but she can hear it. Oh, so there's the other door. Okay. I'm gonna get lost again. Because I can't find a staircase. My attempts at tending to this land have been poor at best, disastrous at worst. Seeds cannot take root, and what is left of the crops have sickened and crumbled to dust. Why did anyone live here? Okay, so here's... Right. Cool shit I can't open. I need to find stairs. Oh, here's this room. Presence is yelling at me. Now I think the matches are up there. But I need to find a way up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the hidey hole? Hmm. Where would they keep matches? Oh, I'm examining the tree. Oh, did I get away? Oh, no, I didn't. There it is. Whoops! Ah! I almost found the hidey hole. That is a disgusting sound effect. And we're back. Okay, so we're in this room now. Oh, right. Well, not terrifying to you. It's actually pretty terrifying to me. I'm trying not to show it. <laughs> well, yeah, because if I show it, I get more scared. I'm trying to treat this like a silly game instead of a freaky game it actually is. Okay, that's the door I can't open. It's up there. I need stairs. Alright, here's the tree. Quiet presence. Anything to examine here? Up there. Huh. Nope. We're here again. The spoiled food. Gross. I'm just walking on it. So now that I've run from the presence, I understand what those all the green is really for. It actually helps. I did this already, I'm pretty July sure. July right? 19, 1692. To Thomas Durham, you are hereby permitted for to apprehend and bring Susanna Morton in order to her examination relating to high suspicion of sundry acts of witchcraft. The court seeks justice for acts committed by her upon the bodies of Mary Talcott and Mercy Lewis in the Salem village whereby great hurt and damage hath been done. 
Should you succeed, her lands and estate shall be bequeathed unto your family forthwith. Superior Court of Essex County. Okay, right. So these are the witch's lands. Okay, I have walked around this house several times now. And I am not finding what I'm looking for. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think the fireplaces are green as a kind of landmark to help you navigate. Like, it's just sort of a... Here's a big central thing you might want to remember. I'm surprised it doesn't do that with all the doorways, though. I think it would be easier if it did. And all the fireplaces, for that matter. Yeah, I need some flu powder, seriously. Okay, so let's use the fireplace as a central thing. On the left is the tree. What is this? Oh man, more are these cocoons? Hide! Well, that was fortunate. Happens to be in a hidey hole. <clears throat> when the presence came looking for me. Good. Ugh. Man. Hiding and leaving creeps me out more than the presence does. It's looking for stairs. I know, I know. I have to tap a hundred times. Okay, here's the church. I don't think I did this. This homestead still feels godless. I wonder when that feeling of peace shall arrive. Has my savior been delayed in his travels? Maybe you shouldn't live here, man. Is this a braille book? Or is it like raised ink? There's another cross? I don't remember that. Mm, nope, okay, so there's the fireplace again. But the fireplace is a good landmark because the cocoon is right there. I can see, but not hear. And the church. Which means here is where I started. There's the door I can't open. Maybe that's what that sound is all the time. It's them apparating. Okay. 
Okay. Got that. I'm lost again. The hardest thing about this game is just finding where I'm going. I mean, at least that seems somewhat intentional because the sixth sense leads me a certain direction. But then. Okay, we're at the fireplace again. That's great. And the tool shed door I can't open. Man. And the trees to the left. Damn the it. Where are the matches? <laughs> Did Dale wake up? I think they keep matches near fireplaces. Uh-oh, here we go, and I'm lost. <laughs> That's lovely. Seems like just kind of dumb luck if I happen to be near a hiding place when the when the presence shows up. <clears throat> okay, I seriously, once again, am lost. I'm like pushing past my time because I just want to finish this game. <laughs> This is making him happy? Because it's creeping me out. Okay, this is the tree, right? Yeah, that's the tree that grew. I can't go outside until I find the matches. <clears throat> but I can't get the matches because there is seriously no staircase. fell down here. Gonna die, gonna die. Ooh. I think that's what all the green's really for. Follow the green, find a hiding place. I don't know what the heck the presence is. It looks like a Dementor, honestly, which supports the wizard apparating blue powder theory. Maybe I can climb in a fireplace? Climb up or something? How long do I have to hide here, game? Well, running doesn't seem to attract the presence. Just pain tapping. That's the only thing. Alright. Nope. That didn't work. I don't think Cassie's a wizard. I mean, she's got the sixth, sixth sense thing going, but... Okay. There is no chimney here. Mm. Wait, 
Are these stairs? Oh, gosh. Okay. Found the stairs. Thank goodness. This place is damp. And I fear it is of my doing. Of course it is. Thing is, I don't know if I could find them again. I'm only hiding so that this shows up green on my thing later. Oh, maybe it won't. There we go. Oh, almost. Faith is not yourself. <clears throat> okay, Kirsty. A once peaceful wife is not troubled with fits of unrest at night. Ah, she Faith is your wife. Got it. Things I cannot understand. <laughs> She is a weaker vessel, which is why her ears are attuned to the sound of the devil's forked tongue. I went to examine this foul creature myself, but she, she is not what Thomas says. Huh. Susanna is young, vibrant. You the witch face? eyes and a patient smile. Children in town. They say she can cure their ills. I am not sure whom I believe. Forty four Dale. Four Tor Ying eight Ying four. They have gone to the Lord. Who are? Let us keep them tucked in their bed for now. Oh, your kids. We can sprinkle the hearth's ashes over them until we find a way. No, not children. This goddamn place. I think maybe you're right, Eric. What do we got now? Delphi, text to speech. Illegible. Really? You even read the modem app. All right, Nick, what's this say? So when are we writing a book on all the craziness? <clears throat> okay, this looks like a list, but there's stuff crossed out. Circled with weird insignia doodled all over. Aww. It says, I love you too, Dale. I currently possess salt, rosemary, and my sachets. Around this house, I found a moth in its cocoon and the old skull from grandfather's prized ox. What? Surely these could serve some purpose. Below that, there's a bunch of questions. Too unstable? Do I call the quarters before or after I open the circle? And what of a talesman? <laughs> Would a doll suffice? Alice the Nick. I'm guessing this person didn't exactly know what they were doing. At the very bottom of the page, there's some sort of poem. Oh, man of God, yet soulless be. <laughs> <coughs> wow. oh, are you dying, oh, Nick? <coughs> Suddenly I feel like <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna kill Nick. Hey, grab a drink. I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, a skeleton key. Right. Will this be enough? I need help. He is coming again on the morrow. And with other townsfolk. Whoa. There's all kinds of crazy crap in here. What is with all the cocoons? Hmm. Oh, I gotta go downstairs again. Good luck finding those. I think it was here. We can hold out another few days until the path to the seaside melts. They did not have to eat those. Okay, so if I need to go upstairs again... Uh, okay, I go back and left and left. Now, where are we? This door that I couldn't open. As the apple tree is anchored to this earth, so shall I root my soul. 
protect oh, this land against those who would do harm. I gotta release Susanna. Is that the idea? Oh, matches. You can do this. Poppets weren't helping me, that's for sure. There we go. Match. Oh right, she hates fire, I forgot about that. Wow, that's some effective fire. hanged from the tree. Oh yeah, I have matches. Uh, maybe I don't. Bah. Huh? What are you making me look at? Okay. Oh, not okay. Hey, it's that creepy bird. Whoa. How did I get outside the house? Do it. Oh, with a cane? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good idea, actually. Except I, I can't really target the cane. Let's do it. Uh, no. I don't really know how to target the cane. Oh well. <clears throat> Presence doesn't seem to be after me. Hmm? How do I get over there? What? Can't even tell where I am or what's going on now. is a maze. The door? No. The maze. Okay. That I can get that lock off now. Yep. Are the pigs gonna attack me now? Oh crap. No! Are you kidding me? The presence is Thomas? Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Wait, did I just hide in a thing? I don't know.
Okay, but I still have the mallet, right? That was interesting, though, that the present said, I cast you out. Oh, man, now I'm lost. Good grief. Okay, there's the fireplace. To the left is the tree and the fire. Okay. Here we go. make some poppets to defend it. Where did the poppets go anyway? I mean, after they killed everybody. Ah, explore for next pool. What's that? Nick? Can you tell me what the hell I'm looking at here? Just walk straight ahead. Don't hesitate, just go. Excuse me? You deserve to be down there. What? You belong down there. Oh no, you... Great! Oh wow, that's great! Whoops, and now I'm somewhere else. You don't want to call, Surge. Glad you told me that, because I was stuck. Oh, and now I can't run. That's pretty much exactly what you did. Tell me we still have the matches. Oh no, the axe, of course. The axe! What? Oh, right. Time to get chopping. This is gonna take a long time, Cassie. I don't know if you've ever chopped down a tree before. Should draw the presents too, but you know. Oh god, I was trying to cut the wrong thing. Cut the rope. Yeah, that makes more sense. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe. Thank you. Good. So we done now? The house okay? The surge, my boyfriend's coming, and I would really like him not to be possessed like my buddy Nick. Ah. Great. You are the only Durham it tried to kill but could not. It wants you. What? I thought I'd fix this. Yeah. Where do I go? Ooh. The house is burning. No. Oh. Let us help you. How am I supposed to trust <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, it did kill me a few times. My blood. Wait, I don't understand. All right, I gotta tap so I can see where I'm going. Now I'm actually stuck. Okay, come on. I think so too, but there was like the tree branches in my way, and now I'm super stuck again. Come on, get out. I think I broke the running. Okay. I thought that I got stuck on branches or something. Whatever. Hey, Cassie, get over your fear. Quickly, it's behind you. I don't know where your voice is, man. Can't go up there. Oh, here we go. Presence coming. I'm afraid. Oh, wait until I give you the signal. <clears throat> Presence comes, I pull the lever. So Bosch was a Durham too? And I guess Felicia and... Okay. And Betty. So I come from a family of crazy people. You know where you need to go. I super don't. Out of the house? Why? Oh, I can't run. <laughs> it must make perfect sense. And I guess this is the turret. What is this? Oh, stop it, Cassie. These are like the nicest pictures in this whole game so far. No. Not you. Are you the crazy doctor? Sandra, go down the path to the market. The place that has the candy, remember? Run, sweetheart. What? I love you. God. Sandra as in Cassandra? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, you just now found out he was your daddy. So I don't know. I know you are frightened, my child. But you can trust us. Alicia. Didn't you go crazy? Jump! Uh, jump? How do I jump? I 
I, I would love to jump out the window. Oh, okay. I just have to find the right place. I, I can't. Trust me. Maybe it's the house jump making down. Cassie paranoid that crazy things are happening, so she kills herself. It's all a trick. Cassandra. Although your world is darkness. You are never alone. <laughs> it would fit the others. Oh man. I just want to be done. Oh, I'm in a normal house now. <laughs> that surge, huh? You should super throw away this art. Yeah, I think this is her house. We're in ending credits now. Owl. Trophy. Dude! Throw this freaking stuff away! For me, you had to burn the house down. I needed to do it. Needed? Yep. Well, maybe this was a good thing after all. <laughs> <sighs> so, what the hell happened here? And are you okay? Long story. And I'm okay. Never been better, actually. Never been better? <laughs> now be a doll. And now help me up. Be anything but a doll. Cassie, you have a weird sense of. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> weird sense of okay. <clears throat> be a doll, Poppet. Yeah, right? Well, I like what the game was trying to do, and I certainly appreciate how difficult it is to make a mental map of a place being blind. Interesting story. I think it was told a little more than shown, but overall, not bad. And the creepiness was done really well. Not my thing, but it was definitely done well. Okay, so next week... <laughs> yeah, maybe, but you know, I, I, I mean things like... You know, like when it says... Enemies will find you faster if you make noise. Like, the game should show you that when it says, like, Gosh, that sounds like the code that I'm looking for, you know? I mean, stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> so, next week, I'm gonna take a break from Creepy. I think I'm gonna play Ori in the Blind Forest, because that sounds... That seems like it'll be a nice game. Even though it involves an orphan, I'm pretty sure. But I definitely need a break from Creepy. You heard that Ori is hard? Well, that sounds perfect. I could use a hard platformer. Do we really need to sing the satanic song that got Nick possessed? Thy greed will be the undoing of thee. Thou cup 
<laughs> don't. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> don't. Oh, crap. Right. <laughs> and Some presents got stuck in my throat. I Horror consultants. Well, those six people, you know what you're doing. Starter backers. Well, if that's the part of the credits we're into, then I think I'm just gonna leave this screen up and say good night, good day. Um, yeah. So next week we'll do Ori in the Blind Forest. I'll leave these credits to run on the stream, but otherwise I will see you later. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Might pause for a sec while I switch the screens, but I'll put it back.